वेलकम टू दीडियो लेक्चर ऑन आई ई एंड आई पी रेजिस्टर इन एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इन एट जीरो फाइव वन देर आर टू इंटरप्ट रजिस्टर्स विच आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अ स्पेशल फंक्शन रजिस्टर्स फॉर इंटरप्ट द फर्स्ट रजिस्टर इज कॉल्ड एज अ आई ई रजिस्टर दैट इज अ इंटरप्ट एनेबल रजिस्टर एंड सेकेंड इज कॉल्ड एज आई पी रजिस्टर विच इज इंटरप्ट प्रायोरिटी रजिस्टर्स नव लेटस फर्स्ट डिस्कस वॉट इज अज ऑफ एन आई ई रजिस्टर Uh, so up, actually upon reset all these all the interrupts are disabled that is they are masked meaning is that none will be responded to by the uh, microcontroller uh, if they are activated and therefore these interrupts they must be enabled by the software uh, in order for microcontroller to respond to them and for setting these individual interrupts actually we are going to use the ie register so it is the main use of ie register is for enabling or disabling the individual interrupt this is a 8 bit register and this is a bit addressable register that means you can access the single bit of this uh, register now let us understand what are the different uh, bits in this register so the lsb or d0 bit is ex0 ex0 bit is for uh, enables or disables the external interrupt 0 et0 is enable or disable the timer 0 overflow interrupt ex1 is for enabling or disabling external interrupt 1 et1 is for enabling or disabling the timer interrupt 1 and the timer 1 interrupt and es is for enabling or disabling the serial communication interrupt so these uh, by setting these individual bits to 1 we can enable a particular interrupt but if you want to set or reset uh, the particular interrupt then along with it you have to Also set this EA bit is equal to one. So this EA bit is a very very important bit. So you have to set this EA is equal to one, or to allow the rest of the register to take the effect. So if you want to activate say ET one or timer one uh, interrupt timer one interrupt, then you have in that case you have to make this ET one is equal to one, and as well as you have to make EA is equal to one. now uh, let us consider then what uh, the format you have to load for this so suppose i want to enable this et1 so i want to make it equal to 1 rest of these bits i am going to make equal to 0 but if you want to enable this then you have to also enable ea so what is the format you can see here 1000 is 8 and again 100 is 8 so how will you write a instruction so you have to write Move I E comma hash eighty eight H. So the meaning is that by loading this eighty eight value in the I E register, you are actually enabling the uh, a timer interrupt one. Okay. So similarly, if you want to enable any other interrupt, you have to make that particular bit is equal to one. Also, this I E is a um, bit addressable, and therefore you can use the instructions like clear or set B. to set a particular bit in the ie register that means if you want to make this ea is equal to 1 you can also write the instruction set b i e dot 7 this is absolutely valid if you want to clear any particular bit then you can give the instruction say clear ie comma 1 so you can use this instruction with this ie or interrupt enable register another second important uh, register Uh, in this is called as an uh, interrupt priority register uh, now by default or on power on uh, the microcontroller has some default priority for the interrupt so these are all five interrupts so we have discussed this in my last video i will give the link in the description box for this so uh, the external hardware interrupt 0 int 0 is having the highest priority then timer 0 is having Uh, the next priority is then external hardware interrupt one, then timer interrupt one, and then serial communication. So this is what is the power on or by default priority of the different interrupt. But by using the IP register interrupt priority register, actually we can set or alter the priorities of the interrupt. So here is a format for this IP register. Uh, so this IP register is also an eight bit register. So let us first understand. what is the meaning of all these bits so this px0 means uh, this is a external interrupt zero priority bit pt0 timer zero interrupt priority bit px1 external interrupt one priority bit 
PT1 timer 1 inter priority bit and serial port inter priority bit is a PS. PT2 here we are not focusing because it is a basic version. In the advanced version of AT51, this there is a timer 2 available and then this PT2 will be used for that. Now let us consider one uh, example and uh, let us see uh, how to set the priority or change the priority using the IP register. Now let us consider that suppose I have uh, loaded my IP with a value say move IP comma hash 0000100B. This, is, this value I have loaded in a binary. So what is the meaning of this? Let us see 0000. That means this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is 1, this is 0 and 0. That means you are making this PX1 bit is equal to 1. And PX1 bit means external interrupt 1 priority bit. So that means here you are changing the default priority and you are assigning now the high priority to the external interrupt 1. The hardware interrupt 0, 1 and timer 0. If you have enabled these 3 and now you have given the highest priority to this INT1. The how the interrupts will be executed in what sequence. So as you have given the highest priority to external hardware interrupt INT1, it will be first executed, its ISR will be executed first. And then after that, by default priority will be given higher to the INT0. So, it will be executed next, then timer 0, then timer 1 and lastly you will get a serial communication interrupt. So, that is what is the sequence, how it will get executed. Now, suppose, let us consider uh, one more example. Uh, instead of uh, one uh, Setting the priority of one interrupt if I load my IP register, sorry, with a value move IP comma hash 00001100B. Suppose this is a value. Okay, now again see 00001100. That means now you are giving a higher priority to PT1 and PX1. Both you have set the highest priority. Okay. Now let us see what is the sequence of execution. PT1 and PX1 we have make equal to 1. Now see how the sequence will take place here. Now here the first priority. Now here you have given the highest priority to which interrupts. Here you have given a priority to external hardware interrupt 1 and timer interrupt 1. That means these two. Okay, you have assigned the high priority. But according to the table, which is on a high priority here, highest priority is the external hardware interrupt 1. So the first, this interrupt will be executed. Then after that, you have given the priority to timer 1. So the next timer 1 will be executed and then it will execute INT0, then it will go for timer 0 and lastly it will go for a serial communication interrupt. So this is the way how we can alter the priorities of the different interrupts in 8051 microcontroller. So this is what all about the two important registers IE and IP in 8051. So keep watching my channel and if you like then don't forget to subscribe and share my video with your friends. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.